bit of a rush, but uh, first night session of Boyd. We're going to head down there and uh, hopefully maybe pull out that 20 pounder. It still eludes me. Yeah, see a lot of fishermen like taking their dogs out. You know, and going on the night fishes with them. Uh, you might have seen in my other videos we had Tilly, Joe's dog, was absolute dream. So not only am I taking my sister, I'm uh, also taking. Stitchopus or Stitch. And he absolutely hates fishing. <sighs> Let's see how he gets on. I think it's going to be a nightmare. We'll give it a go. What are you doing? We're Boyd. We catch some carp. What's that for? Oh, what for the carp? Yeah. <laughs> Nearly set up, aren't we? Yeah, I've just got to finish this one off. Put some quick there. How are you getting on, little man? <laughs> We're all set up now, aren't we? You're actually settling down a bit now, aren't you? Ooh, He's crying. Yeah, oh, he likes that. Corin's little bivvy. So, do you want this bivvy? Yeah, it's not actually that hard to put up. It's big as well. Look how nice it is. It's got a lot of room in it. Just getting the three poles. Yeah. So low, low light levels now. I'm leaving my rods for tonight now. Better a few liners, aren't we? Quite a few actually. Yeah, yeah a few liners. So it's definitely active as hell. Are you leaving yours for, for now? Yeah, I mean, I think the carp is pretty good. I think you did Best class in the world over here. <laughs> I don't know whether it's, I ain't got any tracksuits, so I'm gonna be probably quite cold tonight. I ain't got any tracksuits. Dog seen a rat. Does it? I'm getting scared now. <laughs> What's that along? Good boy. It's gonna be so on edge tonight when they're all running about. The um, front one can go lower, but I think it's that one. He spotted the rat again. Not a happy boy, are you? Not a happy boy. <sighs> Sulking away, aren't you? Morning, everyone. It's a lovely morning at Boyd. No fish, quiet night, lots of liners. Quite a lot. Oh, 
Morning, mate. You coming in here? You're happy to come in here now, are you? He was an absolute nightmare last night. Weren't you? An absolute nightmare. Kept whining. Kept me and my sister up. So apparently, he doesn't like it when the bivvy doors are down. So, he doesn't mind it too much when the bivvy doors are open. Yeah, so I've just recast my rods. You can hear him. Just recast my rods. Hopefully this morning we'll pull something off off the bottom. If not, I might just have a look going off the top. Get some breakfast on soon. Yeah. Well, it's a happy to see you, with Bath, isn't it? Stop whining. I'm just in the wine. These have been absolutely a nightmare, so they're eating all our bait. Are you crying? Because I've got a pig's ear for you. Look at that pig's ear. Mmm. Do I? You don't want it. I'll leave it there. Save the blank for this little fella. An angry one. <laughs> Happy days, Corin. Happy days. Right, let's get a photo and we'll get him back. There we have it. Taken how many hours? 15, 16 hours for him. A lot tougher than we first thought. Right, now it's your turn to get one. But at least they're feeding a bit now. You finally decided to calm down now, haven't you? He is. After all that crying, all it took was a jumper and a cardboard box. What's the update, Cory? Nothing going on? Nothing. Very quiet. About half one. Not much going on. It's actually quite a route. Oh, sorry. It's burping. Let's eat my spaghetti. Yeah, it's been a real quiet day. Not much going on. Slow as anything. They are boshing. Just seen one bosh now. So the plan of action. I'm just gonna have a little walk, up a couple of swims, and see if I can tempt any with a doggy. Just throw some dog biscuits in. See if any taken off the top. Might throw some in here as well. See how it goes. If they are get a free line dog biscuit out on them. Have to adapt to situations like this, don't you? So, so there's just one taken off the top. <clears throat> Only one though. I'm very timid. None now. Oh, there you go. Just there. Just there. He's there. He's there. Let him get confident. I might go set up to. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. There he is. Okay. There is one. He's letting it go through. Just a bit of bread. Bit of bread amongst dog biscuits. Come. Oh, oh. 
Oh, there's a little fish here, mate. I need a carp. I need a carp to take it. I need a carp to take it. Carp right in the margins here. Right in the margins. Slow sinking. Oh, he took my other bit. He took my other bit. Take that bit. Take that bit. Oh, I just pulled a bit of bread straight out one of their mouths. Got a hook up. Got a hook up. In the margin there. Come on. There's one above it. I need them to come down there. Ooh, it's a little silver by my bread. Oh, I sunk it though. This is agonising. I've had about three of them take my bread. That hook's come clean out. I don't know the ducks are trying to move in and take the surface bait. God, it's a challenge, isn't it? The little silvers are tucking into my bread as well, which is a bit annoying, like that. There we go. Just finally, and that's your, was that your margin one? That's the island one, isn't it? Uh, keep your rod low, because you're probably going to cross my line. Or... Feel like a nice one? I know. Uh... Yeah, it's nice. Play them nice and slowly. It literally was like a little beep, then a beep. Did you hear it? Where have you got them in your pocket, have you? I've got them All right. <laughs> there you go. It's good. Just at the end. That's why you never. It's always when you leave your rods out. I might move your rod so I can net it. Pacific tuna, was it? Yeah, I like the fish meal there. That's, oh, got my line. Yeah, I think you've got it on my line. My line looks good. Yeah, it's a model. Right, so I'm just back from Boyd on our first 24 hour. Well, from our first 24 hour. Um, fishing with my sister. Boy, what an experience. <laughs> Highs and lows, and just, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was, it was uh, pretty intense, either way. I, I can safely say Stitch is not gonna be night fishing with me again. He was an absolute nightmare. Constantly whining. Can hear him now. Um, he obviously really hates night fishing. He kept us up all night, uh, crying away. He didn't like bivvies, but if you open the door, he weren't too bad. So the whole night, no fish. Uh, next day, so today we, I, I managed to land one at about, I think, 12 o'clock or 11 o'clock, something like that. So I waited 15 hours for that bite. And uh, positive note, my sister got a 15 pound common which was a lovely fish it was real nice um, but it just as soon as she hooked it chaos ensued it was uh <laughs> it, it wiped my line out um so it, it pulled my line all the way in it snagged my line up in the reeds i had to get in the water to get the fish out and get my line unsnagged that's the first time i got in Boyd valley water Got the fish out, the dog was screaming because he doesn't, he's obviously you get so excited about carp. Hello mate, yes. 
Just look at me over the top of the rod bags. Look at him. That is the face of pure evil, that. Isn't that right? So, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, interesting one overall. Uh, my sister got really stressed with the dog screaming at the carp that she got, even though it was a PB. She was getting stressed out because she didn't really know how to hold a fish properly. Um, I'm going to show her how to do that. We can look back and laugh at it though. She's got a PB. She's happy. She caught. None of us blanked. But boy, that was a hard sesh. Tough 24 hour. The weather held out though, which was really nice. Right, I better get this mopey sod in before he starts whining even some more. He probably needs a massive poo as well. Right, in a bit.